Good morning, my name is Ralph Friedrichs and welcome to Take Your Life Back. Today we're going to talk about why addiction is a progressive disease. Uh, this is a subject that a lot of people have been talking about and there's been a lot of debate and we will address it coming up next. But first, I'd like to give a shout out to Dr. Luis Gonzalez from StartingPointMN.com. That's S-T-A-R-T-I-N-G P-O-I ntmn.com. You can reach him at 844-414-8444. What he does at Starting Point is he has two entities to his business. The first entity is like my addiction recovery business. He will walk from uh, with you from your addiction to your recovery 24 hours at a time today and the future on tomorrow. He will never ever, like myself, talk about your past. We, both of us, are not addiction, uh, excuse me, are not therapists or counselors. What we are are addiction recovery coaches. We're life coaches. We will work on today and your future. The past is the past. We will not dwell on that. That is Dr. Luis Gonzalez, and what he does is that one side. The other side is if you have professionalism, personality, and passion, and you have some sort of addiction background, whether it was your own or is your own, or maybe possibly you were helping a loved one or a family member or a friend, you can become an addiction recovery coach. But what you need to do is take the first step today, and that is to call him at 844-414-8444. That's Dr. Luis Gonzalez at Starting Point. Also, I want to just give a shout out to Pam Hemphill. She's from Time to Heal. You can find her on YouTube under Time to Heal. Uh, I believe she's up to episode 18. You can find all her episodes on my website, which I'll give you the contact information in a minute. She's also on Facebook. She has an open group called Time to Heal. And she concentrates basically on recovery. Uh, she is uh, uh, contemplating becoming or opening, because she already is an addiction counselor. She wants to open up an addiction center. Uh, we wish her nothing but good luck on that venture. Uh, I hope everything does work out for you, and I am so happy that there are people like Pam Hemphill from Time to Heal that want to help fight the war on drugs and alcohol. So kudos to Pam Hemphill. Now, my two websites, the first one being the one that I created after I hit rock bottom, and that one is called uh, clearviews.info that's c-l-e-a-r-v-i-e-w-s dot i-n-f-o there you can find all of Pam Hemphill's uh, videos 18 episodes you can find her she has her own page on my website you just hit the more tab on top by the header and you'll see it says time to heal my website that particular one concentrates on information on drugs and alcohol. It is merely there to educate you, to help you through your daily struggles with sobriety and or addiction. On clearviews.info you have so many articles, so many clippings from doctors, psychologists, and psychiatrists. Those are the people that recommend the medical aspect of it. I do not. I am not a counselor, not, not a therapist, nor am I a doctor. What I am is a messenger and a soldier in the war on addiction. I take their information, put it on my website for you to educate yourself. However, what I do have on my website that comes directly from me are over 150 videos like this one. Videos that address almost every aspect of addiction and recovery. If for some reason I have missed anything that you have not seen and you would like to see it, Text me at 631-599-0218. I will make sure that I will talk about that subject, I will videotape that subject, and I will air that subject. We are getting bigger and bigger together, you and I fighting daily. On the other website, which is Clear Reform, that's www.clearreform, that is my addiction uh, coaching website. Like Dr. Luis Gonzalez from Starting Point, I am also an addiction recovery coach. I am a graduate from his educational program at 844-414-8444. On that website, you can go on there and you can see how I have a structured program to help you take your life back. I want to help you take your life back and there are so 
many different ways of doing it. There are so many ways of seeking treatment, and we will discuss that later. But for now, this is my phone number, 844-405-HELP. You have my text number, 631-599-0218. You have both my websites, clearviews.info and clearreform.com. You can find me on Facebook. I have an open group called Clear Reform, and then I have two pages called clearviews.info and Clear Reform. Do me a favor, folks. After you watch this video, and you've probably seen almost every one of my videos, because I do have a dedicated uh, audience, go to YouTube and subscribe to my channel. That way you will be updated with every new video that comes out. Just go right to YouTube, go to my channel, and subscribe to my channel. I will make sure that I put in the information in today's credits for this video so you know where to find me on YouTube. Now let's address the subject of the day, the important subject of today. Why addiction is progressive and always will be. If you have been to treatment, you have undoubtedly heard the phrase, addiction is a progressive disease. If you are an untreated addict, you will undoubtedly find out how true that is one way or another. You'll find out if you are not seeking any sort of treatment and you have an addiction, you'll find out. Let's start with the elephant in the room. For the sakes of this video, I will not be taking a stand on whether addiction is or is not progressive. Most of us, in, most in the field, agree that it is. Some do not agree with the disease concept. Whatever your stance, I think you will find this video to have relevance on progressiveness of addiction. This information, folks, comes directly from the American Society of Addiction Medicine. This is how they define uh, addiction as such. Addiction is characterized by the inability to consistently abstain, impairment in behavioral control, craving, diminished recognition of significant problems with one's behavior and interpersonal relationships, and a dysfunctional emotional response. Like other chronic diseases, addiction all, often involves cycles of relapse, and remission without, I repeat, without treatment or engagement in recovery activities, addiction is progressive and can result in disability or premature death. Without treatment, folks, you cannot battle your addiction without any sort of treatment. Treatments have to involve a structured educational program. They have to involve other people in treatment in your life. Without or engagement in recovery activities, addiction is a progressive and can result in disability or premature death, folks. If that is not an eye-opener, what is? You may be wondering, what do, what do they mean when they say that it is progressive? Folks, my analogy with a progressive is, is because I am in the optical field, and we all can relate to this. We all, most people after the age around 45 start wearing progressive lenses, which are no line bifocals. What a progressive lens is, it blends from one prescription to the next to the next. Well, that's what addiction, it progressively blends to different stages. Do you see the analogy? It's a blending stage, uh, stages that your progressive illness in um, or progressive disease in addiction is. The short version of it is without treatment, addiction will ne never gets better. It only gets worse. It will progressively blend worse and worse without treatment. A progressive lens, a no-line bifocal, progressively keeps going from one prescription to the next, progressively invisible. You don't see it. What a progressive addiction, uh, what, what that entails is, the short version is, without treatment, addiction never gets better. It gets only worse. It will just blend constantly to get worse. There are different sides in the equation. There are people who noticed that drugs and alcohol were having a negative impact on their lives and found a way to bring it under control. 
I personally know some of these people. The majority of active addicts are unable to control their using. Let's read that again. There are different sides of this equation. There are people who notice that drugs and alcohol were having a negative impact in, on their lives and found a way to bring it under control. There are some people like that, folks. How do, exactly does addiction get worse? The best answer to this question probably lies in your own personal experience. It lies in my experience, and I'm sure it lies in yours. If you are in recovery, I would bet money that you can personally attest to your own addiction getting worse over time. This can be shown in a variety of ways. Samples, examples, you had a drink or use uh, more and more to feel the desired effect. You will increase your consumption. Sometimes when you first start it, let's say, remember, and two, three shots was enough. In my case, it was. At the end of my hitting rock bottom, I was up to 15 shots of vodka because I felt my disease was telling me that's what you needed to intoxicate yourself to escape reality. You used or drank more and more often. Absolutely. I couldn't wait for work to be over with daily um, and, and jump on that train and fill my pockets with shots. I would, on my days off, first thing in the morning, think about drinking. Folks, the disease will engulf so, and, and it will just wrap you up. You did more and more horrendous things to get your fix. Examples for people would be stealing money, stealing items from home to pawn, possibly go into a store and steal from there. Your financial and living situations get worse over time because you're now taken away from your bills, from your food, from your children, from your wife or your husband to get your fix. Your relationships get worse over time. They cannot get better. They cannot stay stable. If you have an addiction and you are not seeking treatment, your relationships eventually will either disappear, and if they don't disappear, it's because you probably have died already. I'm not saying you because you're watching this, I'm just saying in general. But all relationships cannot survive an addiction. When one person has an addiction, the other person it becomes a victim. Everything in your life will get worse over time as your addiction progressively, slowly blends and gets worse. If you can attest to any of these things being true, well, the proof is in the pudding. Think about it. How many of these items that I just read is you? They all were me. You had to drink or use more and more to feel desired effect. I had to increase from four or five shots to the end of my hitting rock bottom. Fifteen shots. You used or drank more and more often. I felt I had a drink to get intoxicated, sleep that intoxication off, work it off, and continue drinking. That disease progressively got worse in my life. Is it getting worse in your life? I was able to take my life back, and I want to help you take your life back. You did more and more horrendous things to get your fix. Folks, if you're stealing from your home, from your loved ones, you're stealing things at your home and you're taking it to the pawn shop, you're stealing in stores to get your fix, you're stealing wherever you can at work, you have a progressive disease. Your financial and living situations get worse over time. If you're taken away from your dinner table instead of feeding your family to feed your addiction, that's not good. Not good at all. Your relationships get worse over time. Not only will they get worse, they will not exist if you do not take control of your addiction. You need to get help. You absolutely need to get help. Without treatment, addiction will never, ever get better. Will never, ever get better. Let's go back up here. Everything in your life gets worse over time as your addiction progressively gets worse. Things will crumble. You will feel as everybody's against you. And uh, everything will just uh, fall apart. 
Does addiction progressively affect the mind and body as well? Yes. You don't need to rely on experience for this one. There have been countless studies that show the ill effects of all drugs over time and how progressively they uh, um, attribute to a decline in mental and physical well-being. No drug, not even marijuana, has a long-term positive effect on your health. And sorry to say this to the states that are making it legal, like Colorado, sorry, but it does not have a long-term positive effect. Just to list a few things that are important for you to know. Alcohol will break down your liver enzymes, your kidneys, and can even lead to a condition called Wernicke Kosakoff syndrome. Wernicke Kosakoff syndrome. Look that up um, and, and see the exact meaning. I should have, I wasn't prepared, I should have had the meaning for it. I apologize. Heroin and other opiates will totally destroy your body in more ways than one. Cocaine and Metamphetamines can cause permanent psychological damage. These are just three things so far. Here comes Xanax. Can actually make anxiety worse once the drug is used and uh, used anymore. Marijuana causes memory loss and lung damage. Are there any ways around any of these? No, isn't that's the answer? Absolutely not. That is what addiction is. There aren't any ways to cheat or beat addiction. One, once addiction has you in its clutch, it's going to, it's not going to get better. Sorry to have to be the one to tell you the bad news. The only way to battle addiction is to learn to fight and live with it and go through daily functions with it. I sit here humbly today, October 11th, to tell you I still have an addiction but I've learned to live with it. The addiction will always be there the minute I put my guard down, the minute I stop working on my videos, the minute I stop doing my websites, my coaching, my interviews. That is when I totally let my guard down and that's where the addiction will try to overcome me. As a Christian you need to constantly educate yourself with the Bible. The minute you stop Educating yourself with the Bible and, and testifying to other people is the minute where, where the devil will try to take you into his clutches with the same thing as the addiction. The addiction is the equivalent to the devil. And to learn with it is the equivalent of God. That's what you need to do. Many times I hear responses from people like, for example, I just need to get things under control. That's why you're drinking what you are doing with alcohol and drugs is you you're letting things get out of control by continuously doing it I just had a weak moment you need to learn that your mind needs to be strong enough and you will get to that point with educational uh, addiction recovery tools I feel a lot better I'm going to get my I don't want to say the word my poop together but well, these are just bad excuses and you know what excuses do not work you need to be accountable for your consumption of alcohol and or drugs and you need to have an action plan everyone has a different story but we see or I see a few patterns in the people I talk to and when I talk to them like tomorrow October 12th neighborhood road Mastic Beach New York I will be out there walking the streets that I used to walk as a person that had a serious drinking issue. The same streets that I walked one time with shots of vodka in my pocket, I am walking now with a microphone in my pocket. Those streets that I used to look around to see if somebody is watching me, drinking my shots, are the same streets I'm walking tomorrow again, like previous Sundays, watching for people so I can talk to them about addiction. Those streets that used to be the neutral zone for me between my addiction and my home, thinking that nobody would know, are the same streets that will daily, weekly, permanently help me live with my addiction. What used to be my battleground 
is now my home turf. I feel so comfortable walking those streets, talking to real people with real stories. Had someone been around during my drinking years on those same streets doing what I'm doing right now, I might have hit rock bottom so much earlier. The problem here, folks, is that if you don't educate yourself and you don't have people helping you and you don't seek any sort of treatment, you will succumb. You will never, ever get better. It is not a matter of just saying, I quit. You need to have a structured program. You need to have other people in recovery in your life. You need to be able to lean on people. You need to be able to talk to people. Me doing these videos, out of the thousands in my audience, out of the thousands, I only want two people. I want everybody, but I know that if I get two people, I have my mission accomplished. Two people to live today sober. Two people to live these 24 hours sober. One person, I can guarantee, will be me. Will the other person be you? And if there's more than another person out there, I feel I have my mission accomplished with one or more people. Everyone has a different story, but we see a few patterns in people we talk to. When I talk to people, usually people start in their teens, is what they're, what they're telling us, telling me. I know I did, if not even earlier, in Germany, taking a shot here or there. My grandmother was selling alcohol, or she was actually having uh, taste testing for people in a local department store. And I would, whether encouraged or not, take a couple of shots, a couple of nips here and there. That is when my alcoholism technically jump started. Although it wasn't until much later in my life where it came full force. But that is where it started. They may start with smoking cigarettes and, and stealing beers from their parents. I used to take liquor from my father's bar in the basement and I used to replace it with colored water. And people might say, including my father, maybe, well, why did you do that? Folks, there is no explanation of why people do what they do when they have an addiction. The only explanation is it's a disease and until you learn that you have that disease and you admit you have disease and you reach the higher power, there is no explanation. No matter how many times you say sorry to people for doing what you did during your addiction, it does not when I say it does not matter, it matters, but it doesn't change it. What does change is you today and tomorrow. The past will never change. You can learn from the past. You can try to do the best you can to apologize to people, but today counts more than ever. Today. Today's 24 hours and tomorrow. One day they might take a hit of a joint from people. That's what I'm hearing on the streets. People will take a hit. It all started with cigarettes. Escalated to possibly beer, taking a hit of joint, a year later maybe experiment with something a little harder. They start taking stronger drugs and take them more often. When they are in withdrawal, they'll drink until they incapitate uh, themselves to help them with the withdrawal system. They will just drink and drink until they just um, pass out. As with anything in life, there are a million different viewpoints on this subject. I generally take a strong stance on my viewpoints because I don't take a strong stance on my viewpoints because I have no interest in being part of a debate to committee. My experience tells me that addiction is progressive. Addiction is a disease. Addiction cannot win. I mean, you cannot beat addiction, but you can learn to live with it, and that is beating it daily, and that will help you take your life back. But you have to have a game plan. You have to have a structured program in your life to do this. Listen to these things again. These are, if you're in recovery, I would bet that money that I have to see. <coughs> I would bet money that you can personally attest to some of these things if you're in recovery. You had to drink or use more and more to feel the desired effect. Green light for me. Yes is the answer. You used to drink more often. Yes is the answer. 
You did more and more horrendous things to get your fix. Yes is the answer. I'm sure yes is the answer for you. Your financial and living situations got worse over time and you, your relationships were falling apart. Yes to all. And I'm sure the answer for you is yes. So, with all this said about how progressive addiction can be, isn't today, October 11th, 2014, the day that you finally say, I have a problem. I have an addiction. I need help. Well, if you can finally say that you have gotten halfway done with me, what needs to be done starting today, the other half is to clue God. You need to reach your higher power and ask for guidance and direction. Remember, folks, if you're at a point where you're uncontrollably drinking or using drugs, you are the perfect example as you can't control your life. That's when you need to reach your higher power and you need to ask uh, God for guidance and direction. So if you do those two things, you admit you have a problem and you reach to your higher power, congratulations. Today, October 11, 2013, uh, 14, you need to put that on your calendar because that is the first day for you to finally take your life back. That will be that anniversary date in October 1st, 2015 that you have one year in recovery. And folks, people always say, well, what if I have a relapse? You might have one. I know before I finally hit rock bottom that I had six or seven of them. When, I should say if, you have a relapse, you need to dust your knees, pick yourself up, take a self inventory, figure out what caused this relapse, what stress or what triggered this relapse, and you need to move forward. You can never ever go back into your old addiction ways. That is number one. So what you need to do, again, is dust your knees, pull yourself up, take a self inventory, figure out what caused the trigger, or what caused the relapse, and move on. You need to finally start looking into what is the program you need to do to fight your addiction. Remember the words that you cannot beat addiction or you cannot live with addiction without some sort of help. Without treatment, addiction never gets better. It will only get worse. You need a treatment, whether it's inpatient or outpatient. In my case, outpatient. Treatments would be such as the 12-step program through AA, where you follow a structured program, textbook type, you sit in a classroom atmosphere with other people for about an hour, and you relate stories, and you follow the 12 steps. And you, at first, the first 90 days, you do 90 meetings. I did try that four or five times, and I found, and again, this is just me, I'm not knocking AA, I'm not criticizing AA, I'm telling you I needed to be more actively involved. This is my method of my recovery. My videos, my websites, my Facebook pages, my interviews, my addiction recovery coaching, those together make me a whole person in recovery. I have an addiction, but I have learned to live with it with my methods. You might find AA to work better. It has helped millions of people. You might find the way I do things better. You might find both things together is even better. I think if AA would show more videos during their one hour meetings, that in itself would help keep the curiosity and excitement going in AA. To merely sit in a classroom atmosphere and exchange stories, I don't think is counterproductive. I mean, it is counterproductive. It, it's not productive. Although it's helped millions of people. I have found that people, just by watching and talking to people on the streets, people have excessively smoked since going to AA and excessively consumed caffeine. The only thing that I have done excessively or more is... I've eaten more candy because when I was drunk all the time I didn't want to eat at all because I was bloated. I have not gone to smoking. I have not gone, if anything, I quit drinking coffee 
While I was in AA, I consumed more and more coffee. I have quit drinking coffee. I am not saying that it's all bad. What I am saying, it's different methods for different folks. If you need to go in inpatient treatment, go to a treatment center. If you go to my website, www.clearviews.info, I have a whole page that says Rehab Treatment Centers, and that's right after page six. A whole page, 50 states, two columns separately of treatment centers. Click on the state you're in, you might see something nearby you, and if you don't, go to Google, go to the search bar, and type in treatment centers and your area. All three methods and many more are out there for you to utilize. But all of them have two things that need to be included. The first one is to seek sobriety, which I'm sure if you're going to treatment, that is one goal. But the second one, a lot of people are not doing, and you need to do it. And I, I sit here and I beg of you to do it because it really will accelerate your recovery. You need to include God. I am not saying become a preacher. I am not saying, as some people would say, become a Bible-toting person. What I am saying is you need to reach out to God. You have to ask for guidance and direction. If you want to go get heavily involved with God, kudos to you. I congratulate you because we all need God in our lives. But I have heard remarks from certain people in my uh, in my recovery uh, that might say well sometimes people use God as a camouflage for their own addiction and that is not true God is there to help us throughout our addiction God is there to help us throughout our day now even if I didn't have an addiction because I know millions not I, I personally know hundreds of people that have no addiction that include God in their daily activities because God is our creator and we need to do that so for the people that think because someone has an addiction that they turn to God that they're camouflaging their own addiction, they are totally wrong. They are the naysayers of life and they are the negative people that I'm telling you need to avoid. Negative is darkness. People will do whatever it takes to bring you down. And I'm sure you've learned that in life. You need to be around positive people and you will get positive results. Continuously stay with negative people and you will get nothing but negative results, folks. That is pure and simple, the bottom line. When you seek treatment, the two things you need to, to shoot for include God in your daily recovery activities and shoot for sobriety 24 hours at a time, week by week, year by year. Don't say, I'm going to be sober for the next 10 years, because you don't know that for a fact, and I hope you do stay sober for 10 years. But if you go with the analogy of 24 hours at a, day, a time, each day becomes easier. I do not even count my days or months anymore. I take each day the way it is. I start my days with my videos. I continue my day thinking about my next video. I continuously at night educate myself on what to talk about in my next video. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm educating myself all day pretty much, not all day, but the majority of the day on addiction recovery. Because when I do these videos, it's not just an hour video, it's the preparation before that I need to get the knowledge and the preparation after to produce this. That's how this works. My methods are a proven fact that it works because I am the proof. I am the proof and I will sit here and tell you if you follow my methods you will become better methods that include educating yourself methods that include helping other people to build up your self-esteem because a lot of people use drugs and alcohol because their self-esteem or they think little about themselves makes them feel better because it escapes the reality but if you help other people if you testify to other people if you follow my video patterns or you want to walk with me on neighborhood road or any road or go on your own and talk to people, you will find that the constant thinking and talking about your addiction and your recovery is the best tool to fighting this daily. It's the best tool. There are people that I went to AA with and um, 
I communicated while I was in AA those four or five meetings that I have tried to send some of my videos and I've never gotten a response and I don't know why but I do feel that once people are so stuck in a certain tunnel vision of their recovery that's the way they're gonna go I am open to trying different things in my recovery when I first started I didn't just say I, I just want to do my videos no I am branching out and part of your recovery is to branch out and try different positive things don't branch out to negativity positive things you need to continuously educate yourself 24 hours at a time part of that educating yourself daily is changing yourself if you're at home and you're the mother or the father or the grandparent at home become a better role model part of the addiction recovery plan should be becoming a better person if you're smoking stop smoking at home in front of your children or your grandchildren if you're drinking hopefully you're not if you're seeking recovery but if you're watching me and you're not at that point yet but if you're drinking don't drink at home in front of your children or grandchildren if you're using that toilet trash mouth of profanity don't do it in front of your children or your grandchildren and if you physically abuse anyone whether it's home or anywhere in life you need to seek more than just addiction recovery help. You need to see a counselor therapist on why you physically have to abuse people. And if you're the victim of a, of a physical abuse and you're watching this video right now, you need to seek the authorities. Remember, it is simple enough to call the authorities and have your loved one taken out in handcuffs and hopefully seek treatment on the outside and come home to you one day as a better changed person than for the authorities to come to your home and take you out in the body bag because that's irreversible if you've been beaten down so many times or even once it doesn't matter you need to call the authorities because a punch here and a slap there eventually becomes a knife or a gun so the four things you need to do in your home to eliminate the, the a bad role model ways is the smoking the drinking the profanity and the physical abuse four things you need to add to be a better role model you need to show love to your spouse to your children to anyone in your home you need to show love you need to show respect to all of the above again you need to show compassion if people have situations in life within your household you need to show that you certainly care and you need to show passion you need to show that you truly love your family those four included love respect passion and compassion and these four eliminated cigarette uh, smoking drinking physical abuse and profanity will make you a better role model that is another step in the right direction on your addiction recovery it, addiction recovery is not merely just to quit drinking and doing drugs it is part uh, that's the majority of it but the other parts are you becoming a better human you becoming a whole human a balanced human and being a good role model at home makes you that start today October 21st excuse me October 11th 2014 writing new chapters in your book of life if today is going to be your first day of sobriety these chapters are going to get better and better and more interesting as time goes on whatever chapters you wrote in your book of life before then doesn't matter at this point anymore when you were born that was chapter one when you God forbid die that is going to be the end of your book all the chapters in between are the most important but the most important chapter if you're ready for change is today that is the most important one. that's the one that I want you to put stars on that chapter that is the one that people are going to remember you most from that point on if today is your first day change if today your goal is to seek sobriety for the rest of your life and to seek your higher power congratulations you are now ready to take your life back and I congratulate you for that and with my help or AA or a treatment center you can and will learn to live with addiction and you will recover daily 
and you will live a happier, well-balanced life. But it all starts with you. It all starts by you saying, do I want to take my life back? And when I say take your life back, I'm telling you to take your life back to what was given to you by God in the first place when you were born. That is taking your life back. Anything in between there was created by you. There are people that will always blame other people for their actions. The accountability has to start today for you. You have to be accountable for your own actions starting today, October 11, 2014. The blame game is over. People didn't force you to drink. People didn't force you to do drugs. Your addiction is the one that's promoting it to you. You now have to come up with an action plan on how to live with that and how to say no to addiction and the cravings and the desires. It's all in here. But as long as you're not willing to do that, things won't change. Without treatment, whether it's AA, my methods, treatment centers, whatever other method, without treatment, addiction never gets better. It will become worse. Guaranteed. Start today. Start today. When you go to bed tonight, when you take your sneaky shoes or slippers off, instead of leaving them on the edge of your bed on the floor, push them under your bed. You might ask why. Because tomorrow morning, when you wake up, you will have to go on your knees to go and retrieve those slipper shoes or sneakers, pull them from under the bed to put them on your feet. When you're on your knees, just thank the Lord for another day that He is allowing you to be on this beautiful earth. For every breath you take, there's someone taking their last breath today, right now. For every time you blink, open and close your eyes, there's somebody closing their eyes for the last time. Thank God each and every day that you are alive, hopefully healthy, and that you're continuously living with your addiction with an action plan to battle it and include God in your thinking daily. Include God. Don't worry about what people say because you're reaching out to God. That's between you and your God when you reach out to God. Any person that criticizes you for reaching out to God is a person that you might want to just not be around. That person needs to reach out to God for criticizing you for that. So on your knees, thank you, God, for another day on this beautiful earth. And also, try to start helping others. When you do good in life, you get good in life. When you do bad, you get bad. By helping others, it will build up your self-esteem. Believe me, it will. That self-esteem that has been so low has probably caused you to do a lot more drinking and doing drugs. Build it up by helping others. If you have extra, give it to some people. Help your neighbor cutting their grass, the elderly. Elderly. It all starts with you. Let today, October 11, 2014, be a new created you in conjunction with recovery, action plan, and your God. You will become a well-balanced human, starting today. If you're watching and you don't have these issues, I congratulate you for that. If you don't have drug and alcohol problems, that's great. If you're watching just because you want to see what I have to say, that's good. But I will ask you while you're watching, do you also have God in your life? I'm not saying anything, but do you have God in your life? Because you need to have God in your daily plans. You need to have God in your home. You need to have God as you walk the streets every day, as you drive. That's all part of the plan. Start the change today. Let me help you take your life back. Text me, 631-599-0218. Call me, 844-405-HELP. Email me, clearreform at yahoo, C-L-E-A-R-R-E-F-O-R-M at yahoo. It all starts today. Let today be the first day of the rest of your better life. Let the sun shine into your heart and into your home and you will see nothing but positive results. Eliminate the negative people in your life. 
try not to be sucked into their negativities. The naysayers will try to do whatever it takes to convince you that you don't have a problem and that a recovery program doesn't work. Avoid them. Remember, I am a perfect example of what recovery is all about. How to live with it. How to fun, have fun with it. I am the perfect example. People in AA are perfect example. Millions of people in AA have, have uh, been helped. Treatment centers. These are all people out to help you. But today, be the first day for the rest of your life. It's a rainy Saturday here in the Hamptons, Long Island. Um, I hope you have a great weekend, and I hope to see you tomorrow on Neighborhood Road, Mastic Beach, New York, between 11 and 12. I'll be interviewing um, folks, real people with real stories. Those interviews will be uh, aired on Monday, and I look forward to seeing everyone. And remember, tomorrow is... Uh, what I call my spiritual lift me up video that will be airing on uh, all my networks, all my channels, and on Facebook and Twitter and Google. Look forward to seeing you on Monday, God willing, and as always, try to have a sober, sober day, but more importantly, a whole sober weekend, and God bless you.